Today we are exploring the ancient city in Bangkok, which is a massive park about a 45 minute to an hour drive outside of the city center. We just got here and got our tickets and picked up some bikes. And as you can see, we already have some really cool stuff behind us. The entrance is right here. We're barely inside. So obviously there's gonna be a ton of stuff to see. We're excited to get started. So we're gonna start riding. So this park is actually gonna be super massive and I don't think we're gonna be able to make it to quite everything today. We read online on some blogs that you could easily spend a couple days here, but we only have a few hours, so we're gonna try and make it all count. We've already passed a few different stops, um, but yeah, I think this place is just gonna be packed with things to see. So a really cool thing about this park is there are a ton of structures, buildings, and everything that are duplicates from other famous areas around Thailand and around Southeast Asia. And some of them, like this one that we just walked up to, rode up to, is a one-to-one -one scale of the original is what this plaque says. What is it? I don't know. I didn't get that far yet. <laughs> it says it's one of the most sacred and important monasteries in the south of Thailand. And it's a one-to-one -one scale. How crazy, like that's so cool, that's so cool. coordinated enough to bike and film. We're gonna try to keep most of our stops short so that we can stay under a few hours of exploring around here. Because seriously, we can probably still see the entrance if we turn around because that's how, <laughs> how quickly all these attractions start. Ah! Also, I promise I know how to ride a bike, but my front wheel is not aligned and is really throwing me off. These bikes are, are quite old. They're not super easy to use. No, they're not, especially with one hand. We made it to the first row of souvenir socks in here. The first least. of many, probably. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it was advertised as not being a very touristy place since it's so far outside of the city. We haven't gotten very far. Maybe That's it'll get pretty quiet. That's not what you heard? No. Oh. Maybe the article I read was pretty old. <laughs> Funny on the street, there's a ton of souvenir shops, and right as we were pulling up, a couple tour buses pulled up, so there's a lot of people in here right now. But there's also these rooms that just have it's like a little exhibits kind of, and not a single person has been in any of these rooms that we've walked in. They're all outside of the, <laughs> at the souvenir stands. I love the art style so much, how the, the faces are painted on all the masks. It's very fun. don't know how to choose what not to stop at because the little tourist stands were right back here we just came right across the street and where is it i can't see it's too bright we're going to be taking a bunch of <laughs> like 30 second long bike rides yeah yeah pretty much yeah how could you not stop at this i really i don't know where i'm supposed to be covered up if I'm supposed to be covered up in every building that we go into, but this one definitely seems seems like one. I don't know the rules, but since I wore shorts, I brought a scarf, and I think I'm going to be covering up for a lot of the places that we go in today. And hopefully, it's enough.
think we've done enough exploring today to say we deserve some ice cream. At this rate, we'll get in four or five ice cream stops though today. Perfect. That's devastating. I guess maybe, maybe we'll have to wait for ice cream. But just right outside of that little area, there seems to be some food auctions and we haven't really had any food yet today either. So maybe we should get food. We found food and mango smoothies. Mm. That's perfect. The mango here is so good. That place was so surprisingly affordable. We ended up loving the mango smoothie so much that we decided to order a passion fruit smoothie and try that. And with two smoothies and those two dishes we got, it was 190 baht or about five and a half dollars. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> we and could definitely get used to this. Yes. We? To be fair, the ticket to get into this, the old, the ancient city, um, was pretty expensive. It was $40 for both of us to get in, which I mean, compared to a lot of other cities that we visited is very normal. But for here, it seems like that is much pricier than a lot of places. Yeah. So I think that's probably what helps the food be more affordable in here. <laughs> okay, I don't know how all well this is gonna show up. So here's the whole map of the ancient city. I think we are right here, which means, and the entrance is down here. So we have all of this left to explore. So I think we're gonna stay on our bikes for a little while and see some sites before we stop at some more sites. It's Make been... it like an hour and a half probably probably more than that we maybe, were we were in here for a long time maybe two hours and we've seen like three things yeah out so of out of this uh, list. 60 oh 122 <laughs> um so i think we're just gonna kind of ride our bikes around here see some stuff and then we'll work our way back through it maybe on our way back yeah and we should be done by tomorrow saturday? or saturday that's okay it's uh what day is it wednesday it's wednesday <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't make it too far without stopping. We got to the entrance where there's a ticket checkpoint. Ticket, ticket checkpoint. checkpoint. <laughs> Jeez. And I guess the first part that we were in, you didn't actually need a ticket. I think it was labeled the free zone. So that whole stretch that I showed on the map. I think it's totally free. But we just came through to the actual entrance where they have this super cute little, I don't even know what you call this, like, it's not, it's not a square. It's massive. Yeah. It's like a whole city. They, I mean, hence the name, the ancient city. Perfect. But yeah, there's just buildings everywhere and bridges going across the water. It's very it's so green gorgeous. and lush. It's like, it's so cool. peaceful. Seriously, we still haven't even scratched the surface of this place and we've already seen such amazing stuff. You left me. <laughs> I thought you saw me. I thought you saw me. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't this look cool? We made it to the floating market, which is just this set of buildings um, that are just floating around. They're built on top of the water. Um, I think a lot of times they have like festivities and um, things that you can buy here. Um, it seems like it's partially under construction now. Um, a little disappointing, but... Well, I don't know. I'm still... I couldn't find much online. I don't know if this floating market is ever actually a market or if it's just showing you what the floating market was looking what it, what it looked like when there was one so i think this is another one of the like historic recreation sites yeah i think i think i think they do have events here and stuff oh, really? though that's what it seemed like from the pictures that's really cool well there's definitely not one now it's very empty and very quiet. no but we can <laughs> at least walk around and look into the murky waters
Our plan to just make it around the map really isn't working out very well because we found this map and we are here and a spot that Marshall really wanted to see and I really wanted to see is back here. And here's the floating markets that we were just at. So we're gonna go back, back down here. <laughs> we didn't see very many roads, but I guess there's only really like two, two places to get over there and we didn't take them. So we're gonna go back and see that half before moving over here. We're always so inefficient. Whoa! There, we had, I had no idea there were real animals in here. That, what is that, an ox? Mm, honestly, don't have to. That's okay. huge. We're Pretty gonna cool. have to, I hope the, nice, there's clouds coming. So it should maybe, at least the sun may not be beating down on us as much starting soon. So hopefully we can start speeding up a little bit. I was so fixated on this thing that I didn't even realize that right behind us is the dragon type thing that we've been wanting to see. I love it. <laughs> this was the main picture that I saw. I was like, okay, we need to come here and see that. Yeah, this is definitely, it seems the most popular attraction in here, at least the most photographed thing that we've seen in doing research of it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. From seeing pictures online, neither of us could really figure out what kind of creature was surrounding this little island. I thought it was a dragon, Marshall thought it was a lizard, um, but it's a fish. I think we're gonna try to speed run through a few more things here and then before too long, we're gonna go find a grab to get back home. But the first stop on our speed run is the Pavilion of the Enlightened. Other than the massive fish that we saw last, this is probably one of the things that we've been looking forward to the most. It is so massive. It's right on the water and just all gold. There are walkways over the water to get around all the different covered areas. But seriously, there are just so many different rooms with so many different peaks. I don't know. This just looks so amazing. Unfortunately, it looks like we may not be able to actually access this main part of the pavilion down this walkway. It has a do not enter sign, but at least we can get up and get some cool views of it. And walking on these pathways is so cool. I love, I love all these, um, do you call these floating pathways? I, I guess. guess so, yeah. They're so cool. It's a bummer we can't go in here, but I guess that's good for a speed run. <laughs> On Other to the next stop. Yeah, otherwise I think we would have been trapped in here for like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that looks really cool. And you can walk, well, if, if you could get in there, it looks like you could walk just all around the bottom of it. I'm glad we came back over to this area because it seems like the three most popular ones that we've seen were all right here grouped together. The three-headed dragon, the three dragons, the fish surrounding the... Ah! Hold on, we're gonna crash. <laughs> <laughs> the Pavilion of Enlightenment, the dragon heads that we just passed, the water feature, and the island with the fish surrounding it. Those are the three most popular pictures that we saw and they're all right, they're next to each other. So I'm glad we came back over here. Contest right now. Seriously. 
There's quite a few coming. Oh my gosh. So I'm pretty sure this hill that is in front of us was kind of our last want to do of today in here. I think it looked a lot cooler on the map though. <laughs> And it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. I don't know if it's under construction or if it's just always closed. But I thought we were going to be able to walk up on it or, I don't know, see more of it. But and maybe we're just on the wrong side of it. Maybe we should circle around before we call it a day. But so far, this view is not, not what I was envisioning of it. The shade is nice. Yeah, we're trying really hard to find shade at this point. Well, we rode around to the other side real quick. And while it doesn't look like it's open, it looks like this may be one of the newer attractions and it's just still under construction. But we did learn that the mountain is totally man-made, totally reconstructed. It's like a building inside. <laughs> it's a huge project. Yeah, this is all, this is a really impressive park. I mean, there's so much detail in every single thing. It's massive. It's really, really so incredible. Yeah, no, I saw online that you could be here for two days genuinely you could be here for two or more days we've seriously seen so much today and there's so much that we just like passed by and didn't show and even probably some paths that we haven't taken <laughs> and the whole day marshall's been yawning so the sun is brutal it's, it's yeah making me it's tired. so warm but it's been a really awesome day i think i'm pretty sure this is our last stop so i guess we might as well end it here unless we we can pick we can always pick back up if we end up finding an entrance but I think that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed our little bike tour around the ancient city and we'll see you in the next video.